Hi there, Andrew Reed here from Victoria, BC, and today we're going to talk about how minimum wage increases have done more harm than good. And I'm saying this here from a province in Canada that has enacted series after series of minimum wage increases, only to find that it does more harm than good. Let's talk about the reasons why. Uh, first of all, if you're a minimum wage employee working for some big company and they're told they have to increase their wages, they're gonna mitigate. They're gonna try to adjust for that expense. So what I've found, especially in certain grocery stores and things like that, is that they will decrease the hours by the amount that the minimum wage increased. And yet, the same job functions, the same tasks are required of the employee. Uh, so we found that they are uh, working harder for the same amount of money pretty much in total. So that's one reason for their failure. Another reason for the failure is compression. So what is happening is that people were set up in these uh, lower paying, uh, lower skilled environments in a tiered structure. So some might make say 1510, 1520, 1530, you know, they've made these increases based on merit, based on longevity. So when the minimum wage increases comes around, it wipes all those out and then you have a compression issue. So what are the consequences there? So the company can react by raising all the wages for everyone equally, or they can just leave it as is, which creates a loss of productivity for the company because people have resentment. Where you have resentment, you have a loss in productivity. And so they're faced with making either of those decisions. They can dramatically increase their expenses. So for a lot of nonprofits, a lot of companies, small businesses that are working on lower profit margins, that are having a tough time anyways, dealing with the effects of the, of the uh, recent pandemic restrictions, I mean, seeing consequences anyways which are causing these companies to operate at a low margin and then they're now faced with the choice of uh, whether they need to dramatically increase their expenses or increase their expenses by a little bit and deal with the loss of productivity and the final harm or at least the final major harm that I can see from raising minimum wage is the barrier to entry for new employees so new unskilled employees typically will join the market, the labor market at minimum wage. They'll go in there and they'll be expected to wash dishes or things like that. And the employer can afford that at a lower minimum wage. And those employees will build skills there that will merit asking for more money. But when you increase the minimum wage, then this employer is going to have to look at this and say, well, for this amount of money, I need to hire somebody that has multiple skill sets, that has experience already, so I'm not gonna hire that person that's completely unskilled, creating a barrier to entry into the job market in the first place. So those are uh, three reasons that we've seen in actual effect here in BC, as how increasing minimum wage from a government perspective creates more harm than good. Uh, best of luck out there and may the market force be with you.